Very good morning students. For this lecturing video session, I am going to solve a problem from the second chapter of unit 5 which is perspective projection. So, let me just read out the question and make you understand what has been asked in the question and what needs to be drawn. A square prism of base side 30 mm and axis size 50 mm is lying on the ground on its base with a face parallel to and 15 mm behind PP. The station point is 40 mm in front of PP and 60 mm above GP and lies in a center plane passing through a point 25 mm to the right of the right end of the prism draw the perspective projection of the prism right here the object what is the object here the object is a square prism object is a square prism of side 30 mm of side 30 mm axis height is 50 mm a h axis height is 50 mm five zero lying on the ground on its base which is parallel to 15 mm behind pp so resting on ground it is resting on where it is on ground that is ground plane which is on the ground plane on its base with its base only it's resting with its base with its base a face parallel to and 15 mm behind pp right so one of the face face is parallel to and 15 mm behind pp pp is nothing but picture plane pp is nothing but picture plane gp is ground plane the station point is 40 mm in front of pp so there would be two station points right so the station point first one 40 mm in front of pp 40 mm in front of pp the second station point that is sp dash which is 60 mm above gp 60 mm above gp sp that is station point 1 40 mm in front of bp the sp dash 60 mm above gp center plane passing through a point 25 mm to the right of the right end of the prism cp that is center plane 25 mm to the right that means in the right hand side of the right end of the right end of the prism fine so in the orthographic projection that means uh, projection of plane surfaces projection of solids then projection of section planes development of surfaces isometric projection i used to draw the true shape first before we proceed that means to start with uh, we always draw the true shape first whether it could be on hp or vp that doesn't matter so we started the drawing from where you could see the true shape of the object here the object is a square prism so the prism is named according to the base of the the shape of base of the uh, prism here it is a square in shape therefore it's a square prism what the question says the particular object that is the square prism is lying on the ground on its base this is how right in the introduction video i taught you it the perspective projection the uh, top view will be captured above that means is on the pp picture plane 
right. So, it the perspective projection adopts the tad angle projection where you could uh, draw the top view on the top and the front view below, right, fine. So, first I need to draw the PP. So, PP line, let me just draw a PP line. So, PP is nothing but picture plane. When the object is placed in this manner, what I could see the true shape is a square of side 30 mm. And look at here, one of the face is parallel to and 15 mm behind PP. If an object is kept in this manner, this is some distance behind PP. If the object is placed in this manner, it is in PP, in PP. This is behind PP, that is behind PP. This is in PP. If the object is placed in this manner, some distance, some distance in front of PP, some distance in front of PP. Clear? So, three possibilities behind PP, then in PP and in front of PP. Right. So, here as far as this question is concerned, the object is behind. How much behind? It is 15 mm. 15 mm. So, from the PP, just take 15 mm. 15 mm. Now, draw the square. Now draw the square. You all know how to draw the square, isn't it? Right. So, of size 30 mm, I have drawn the uh, true shape of this square pyramid. Sorry, not pyramid, the prism. Right. How far it is? It is 15 mm. So, let me just mark the dimension here, which is 15 mm behind. Now, let me just give the naming for this A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, S, right. When I just look at from the top, I could see A, B, C, D. See, it is a top view, so do not put dash, remember it, right. So, A, B, C, D are visible, then the bottom base, P is invisible. Q is invisible, R is invisible, S is invisible, right. So, the, for the front view only we need to put the dash symbol that is A dash, B dash, C dash in that manner we will have to differentiate it, right. Since I have completed the top view, so if you want you just mention it top view. So, for, uh, for your uh, uh, this only I am just mentioning it is a top view. So, do not forget it, top view will be captured in the PP. Now, I need to position the station points, couple of station points and the ground plane, right. How the center plane is uh, placed that first, first you will have to position the center plane then SP that is station point or the eye level then the uh, ground plane, got it, right. So, now the center plane which is 25 mm to the right of the right side of the prism. So, which would be 25 mm to the right of the right end of the prism. Where is the right end of the prism? This is the right end of the prism. Now, take 25 mm somewhere here. So, draw a perpendicular line to PP. Draw a thin line. You just draw a thin line. So, this is nothing but center plane 25 mm away from the object. Got it? So, which is 25 mm, this is 25 mm, 25 mm to the right of the right end of the prism. Now, I need to position the station point. Look at here, the first station point 40 mm in front of PP, in front means here below, behind means above the PP line. So, Take 40 mm, take 40 mm from the PP and choose on the CP line, on the CP line. 
this is station point this is station point or the eye level of the observer or human's eye got it so this is the station point next the second station point is 60 mm above gp 60 mm above gp so if you want you can just uh, in the uh, same station point you can just put the station point dash also but in order to avoid the confusion let me just give some space between station point this one and station point dash right so i am just going to leave some 10 mm to 20 mm from here and just position this station point dash which would be 60 mm 60 mm above gp so from here 60 mm so which would be somewhere here this is gp that is ground plane so in other words the eye level it is a horizontal plane right what is the definition of horizontal plane it is an imaginary horizontal plane at the level of the human's eye so let me just draw a line passing through the sp dash this is hp or hl horizontal line or hp that is a horizontal plane or horizontal horizontal line i have drawn this top view has been captured in the pp therefore the front view should be on the gp so now project project it vertically downwards project it vertically downwards is a thin line thin line project it so this top view is just draw it as dark line yes this is the object line top view when it comes to the front view that is not our final drawing so therefore you should not draw the front view as dark it should be drawn as the construction line so you have to use 2h pencil only so what is the height the axis height is 50 mm right take 50 mm from the base that means on the ground line so from the ground line you take 50 draw a line so now look at from here look at from here what are the corners are visible or what are the points are visible when i just look at from here a b is visible so a dash b dash are visible c dash and d dash are invisible to me so c is right behind b therefore c dash is invisible here d is right behind a therefore d dash is invisible let me just move to the bottom base when you just look at from here p q are visible p dash and q dash are visible r dash and s dash are invisible to me so r dash and s dash are invisible got it so this is the square in shape so what the condition says one of the face parallel to the pp so it's a prism right when you just keep it here in this position now this face is parallel to pp this is the pp assume my right hand is a pp now this is what the position now this face is parallel to pp clear right i have completed the top view and the front view now i need to draw the visual rays visual rays are imaginary lines drawn to join the corners of all the objects sorry all the uh, corners of the object which pierce the pp that is passing through the pp so i need to draw visual rays right visual rays from each of the corners so let me just draw this one connect this one connect this one connect this one when each line the rays pierces the pp new points are generated so here look at here this is pa so therefore i am mentioning a1 comma p1 in bracket so because this is a piercing point right let me just move to the next ray which is d and s so d1 comma s1 next ray b and q so b1 comma q1 this point let me just 
keep the point. So, this is a piercing point. So, this is point. This ray pertains to C1 and R1. C1 and R1. So, this is the rays for the top view. I need to draw the visual rays for the front view too, right? Front view. So, this should be very thin line, right? So, these are the imaginary lines which are marked in the top view. Now, I need to draw the line projected from each PS point to the front view. That should be perpendicular to PP and GP. So, draw a projector. So, projector means it's a perpendicular line, isn't it? So, let me just draw the projectors till it intersect the corresponding points. If I drop a line, that means the projector, this, this one is AP, that is A1, P1. The corresponding line which intersects A and P, that creates the new point, right, the intersection points. Let me just drop this line vertically downwards. Where is the ray? Here this ray. Here the A, A are getting merged, the intersection point of A. Then P, P are merging here, therefore this is P. Let me just move to the next ray where we have D and S. Let me just project it vertically downwards, vertically downwards. Where it is intersecting D is here. So, th therefore, this is D. Let me just project it vertically downwards. Where is Q? Somewhere here. This is Q. Right? Let me just move to the next ray where we have B and Q. Let me just uh, project the vertically downwards B and Q. Here it is B. Let me just project it vertically down. Sorry, this is yes, right? So, I have made a mistake here. So, this is D and yes, right? So, D and yes. So, where is yes? So, yes is somewhere here. So, this is yes. Now, this is B and Q. Let me just project it vertically downwards. This intersection point is called Q. Let me just move to the next ray where I have C and R. Let me just project it vertically downwards. C and R. This is the intersection point of C and project it vertically downwards. Where is R? This is the intersection point of R. Right? What I have to do? First, the boundary should be close. Boundary should be close. So, A to B, A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. A to B, B to C, C to D, I have closed. Now the vertical edge, right? A to P, P to Q, then Q to R, R to C. Next, BQ, that line is visible. Like, let me just explain in this manner. So now the object is in this position. Look at here. I am now I am looking at in this position, the right side of the object, right? So the object is placed in this manner. A is here, B is here, C is here, D is here, and P, Q, R, S is in this manner. This is some distance above, that is 40 mm, right? So 40 mm. So this is in this manner. So 40 mm from the PP. So this is their position. Now, when I just look at this object, I could see A, B, C, D. So, that is the reason I put A, B, C, D. Next, if I look at here, A, P is visible, A, P, which I have drawn here. Next, B, Q is visible. Let me just draw that line too, B, Q, B, Q. Next, C, R, right, C, R is visible, I have connected it. Next, this one, what is this point? P, Q, yeah. Q to B I have drawn, C to R I have drawn, A to P I have drawn, A, B, C, D I have connected it. Then what about this point, the extreme point, which is yes, which is invisible to me. So, whichever 
sides or the faces connected to it are invisible. It is connected to yes. This yes is connected to. Sorry, this uh, this is uh, B, B and this is yes, right? That is connected to D and P and Q. So when the point is extreme behind, which is extreme behind, that is this is a point. I have chosen A, B, C, D, P, Q, R, S. S is the last, the extreme, which cannot be seen when I look at from there. So whichever lines which are connected to S are invisible. So look at here, S to P, P, Q, R, S. That is how that uh, the face is connected. That's this edges are connected, P, Q, R, S, right? So let me just finish that uh, edges, that is sides. So, P to S is invisible, P to S is invisible, P to S is invisible, then S to R is invisible, S to R is invisible. So, P, Q, R, S, P is formed, the square is formed. Next, the longer edge, look at here, S is connected with B for the longer edge, so which can be denoted with dotted line. So this is the perspective view of the square prism when the uh, station point or the object are positioned uh, in the required manner. So I have finished the final view that is a perspective view and the front view should not be drawn as dark. Only the top view and the perspective view these, these are the two uh, drawings you should draw as dark lines. Next I need to focus on the dimensioning. So 15 which is behind which I have captured 25 mm that is for the CP. I need to mention the side of the square prism, side of the square prism which is 30 mm which is 30 mm. Next the height that is axis height of the square prism which is 50 mm which is 50 mm let me just move to the location of the station points first this station point is 40 mm in front of the pp that is 40 mm 40 mm next this station point is 60 mm above the ground plane above the ground plane 60 mm 60 Check how many dimensions are here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whether you have captured everything or not, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have not missed any of the uh, dimensions mentioned in the question. Next what I have to do, I will have to mention the node in the right bottom of the node, so I will have to mention all dimensions are in MM by opening up the guideline. All dimensions are in MM. MM should be lower case, that is a uh, small letter. Then scale as 1 is 1 because whatever dimensions is given, same thing I have used here. So, therefore, I have not changed any or used any special scaling. Therefore, actual scale or true scale, that is scale 1 is to 1 needs to be mentioned. So, with this, I have completed all the required shapes, right? Hope you have understood how to draw the perspective view or perspective projection. Thank you.